guys and girls, Batosai the Mind Slayer here with another episode of Dead Star Ship Breakdown. This episode will be focusing on the Volant Marksman. Let's get started. The Mark V Marksman is the workhorse of the Volant Fleet, a heavy weapons class scout ship that marks targets for its escort raiders while riddling enemy ships with machine gun fire and missile barrages. The ship statistics are as follows. We have high speed, low armor, and low shields. It's a paper airplane. Um, class feature is that it captures outposts at four times normal rate, and we're going to get started on the ship's systems real quick. Uh, the core at level one is already unlocked as it's a primary system, and at level two you'll have increases to speed, armor, and shields. At level three you'll get further increases to speed, armor, and shields, and at level four you'll get the maximum increase of speed, armor, and shields. Um, at uh, next we have the machine guns and we have those uh, firing a rapid fire stream of depleted uranium rounds dealing damage on impact and it overheats with use and uh, these are primary weapons so they'll be unlocked at the get-go uh, and at level 2 you'll get the explosive shells which increase the damage for the machine guns at level 3 you'll get the plasma cores which will increase the damage further and then at level 4 you'll get the smart bullets which will increase the damage to the maximum Next you have the targeting beacon which locks onto enemy target providing scanner telemetry again that lowers target's defense against friendly attacks. At level 1 you get the basic system unlocked, at level 2 the signal booster will be unlocked and that will further reduce the target's defenses. At level 3 you will get the structural disruptor which further reduces the target's defenses. And then you will have at level 4 the micro fault detector which further reduces the target's defenses down to the lowest that they can be. Um, next we have the missile launcher which fires a dumb fire missile with a detonation core which explodes on impact or remote detonation. Explosion deals damage to enemy targets and higher ranks add secondary MIRV missiles that launch on detonation. Now for those who don't know what MIRV means it's multiple individual re-entry vehicles. So that means like homing missiles, a bunch of them that just come out. Um, anyway, at level 1 you get the basic system unlocked, and at level 2 you get MIRV missiles, which will add two homing missiles after you detonate. And then you have at level 3 the Hydra class, which will add a third missile. And then at 4 you'll have the kill shot, which adds a fourth MIRV missile to the mix. And then finally we have the quantum shield, which activates a quantum shield around the ship that grants temporary speed and defense increase. At level 1 you'll unlock the basic system, and at level 2 you'll get the centrifuge motor, which will increase the speed modifier and the defense modifier. At level 3 you'll get the nano oscillators, which will increase the speed and defense modifiers even further. And then at level 4 you'll get the prime coolant, which will increase the speed and defense modifiers to their maximum. Anyway, um, this one was pretty tough to get some decent gameplay for because, like I said, it's a paper airplane. I managed to scrape together some fairly decent gameplay with the Marksman, and here it is, along with the final verdict. The Marksman is amazingly fast, and it is pretty hardy little ship considering how low its shields and its maximum armor are. However, as you just saw there, with the Bulldog's shotgun shot, it only takes one good shot to take out this ship. So you have to be using your mobility to its absolute peak um, proficiency. Anyway, um, if you're good with scout ships, this is probably going to be a very good ship for you. I'm not very good with them, but I ended up actually making the top of the in-match leaderboards quite a few times with this ship so it isn't beyond complete reason that I could use it and do well with it so that's actually a very good thing because it seems like it's a very user-friendly ship for uh, new players and old players alike anyway if you enjoyed this video please leave a like comment and subscribe for more in the ship breakdown series and thanks for watching. Peace.